Yo, holy moly, broly. Look what the folks at TF Safari sent me. Well, actually, they didn't send me this. <laughs> I actually had Nova Prime, but what they sent me is this stuff in the background, and these are all upgrade bits, and we're going to install that on Homeboy today, okay? Alrighty, and for a little context, the same folks who made this, they actually made the Volcanic, the Core Volcanicus upgrade set, the one that preceded DNA, and I feel like DNA kind of borrowed some of their stuff, but um, I don't really have any proof for that, just kind of speculation. And so the first thing that it comes with is these wing upgrades, and they do require screws to attach the feathers to the um, the stock, so to speak. Um, I'm not going to install the screws on camera, but um, the fit will still be there and it'll still hold. But yeah, I'm just kind of showing you what they look like. The insides, uh, excuse for the blurriness, there we go. The insides are not spray painted, but because these are going to be facing the innards of the wings, they don't really need that extra paint, and I think that's fine. Um, and the outsides, they look good. It is not a perfect match. That is a bit of some type of like gun metal, but uh, it's good enough, and so we will install those later on. And like I mentioned, they do come with the little screws and stuff like that, but um, again, I'm going to do that off camera. Now, these are the feathers, so to speak, and it comes with um, eight of them. Oh, they're all kind of in there. And here, let's just kind of take them out. And uh, yeah, this is what they look like. This is what they look like. They got these gold bits on the front. Uh, some of the paint is done better in other areas. It's not exactly perfect. They have a decent amount of heft to them, and they seem to be made of the kind of a decent quality 3D printing material. I don't know what you call them, filaments or, or whatever it is. But yeah, you got eight of them, and you can kind of hear they're not that, like, hollow, you know what I mean? They have a decent amount of heft and shake, and um, those are going to install on the wings, like so. I mean, I'll just show you. It'll go like that. And like I said, oh, something kind of snapped. I didn't like that. Maybe it was a bit of flash. The fit is decent, and that's why I'm not going to screw them in right now. I will do so later on. Um, but yeah, so this is what it's going to look like. And you're going to get four on one side, and you're going to get four on the other Another set of bits that it comes with. Um, it comes with these bits. So these are extra shoes. The toes I just had to push in to install. And these are gap fillers for the heels. But what's really interesting is you see how these are at an angle. Um, it's because the Nova Prime feet sit at an angle naturally. And so they designed it to fit perfectly and kind of complement that hollow. And I think it's just really, really well done. And I'll set those off to the side. You get two of them. You also get these. These are perhaps my favorite bits, and these are additional arm covers so that it accentuates um, this tire thing over here. Like, I think this is nice. You know, Galaxy Prime has that, but it just provides a little bit of um, extra weight to it or extra width. And so, yeah, these are nice. These are nice. Uh, granted, in terms of, like, quality, these are not, like... Um, these aren't like plastic. These aren't vinyl. These aren't like the DNA kits. But still, I've purchased um, the y, YYW sets before, and uh, I think they're nice. And this is the, the waste filler, and um, it attaches very well. These ones, I arguably, are, are, are the ones that are like the hardest to install. And they kind of look like Wolverine claws, right? And what they are is they're actually hip skirts, and you install them to the side. And uh, because you can see on Nova natively over here, there's this gap, right? And so that's going to fill this side up. And um, they're a little bit tricky to install. I did one uh, just, just to get a, a test run on it, just to get a feel of it. But um, a little bit tricky, but but that's fine. That's fine. And so without further ado, we're going to start. We're going to see. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to start installing everything one by one. All righty. All right. Maybe we'll start with the hard one first. And we'll start with that, um, that little side flap. And one side is an angle. You can see it's kind of triangular. And the other side is flat. The flat side, it inserts into the back and then you can kind of wedge it in that wasn't too bad that wasn't too bad and i went through it once before and that probably made it a little bit easier this is a little wiggly wobbly but it's not going to fall out um i think that looks neat man that's very cool that's very cool i mean it's not that i had a problem with it not having it but having it i'm like mm, i think i definitely like it with it versus uh without and so let's install the other one where'd that thing go um okay I haven't installed the other one before, so it might be a little bit trickier. So what you do is you start pushing in from the back. And then as you do that, that angle allows you to insert into the front and then you squeeze it in and it's a nice tight fit. And there you go. And those are the waist flaps, Matt. Alrighty, and now we're gonna install the feet fillers, the little gap fillers. We're gonna grab this one right over here. And then we're gonna install that. It's nice and tight, and you can see that it makes it level. And they've done a really good job of lining up the details and stuff, so kudos to them. Kudos to them. Okay, so this bit, 
we fit it onto the front of the toe and it's going to slightly flex so that you can plug this in. Ooh, look at that. Nice, nice, nice. Great job on their part. You know, I'm not really having to exert a ton of force. And look at that. You can see night and day what this looks like versus this. I like that. It looks really, really nice. And um, it, it's not a perfect match, but it's good enough. And um, I'm really fine with that. And so we're going to get this one here and give it the same treatment. Push it back, slightly flex up, and then push that down. And I'm really enjoying installing this kit. It's very easy. Like some of the other stuff that I have, I've had to do where I sand and stuff, that's not fun. Not for me at least. Um, but yeah, dude, it gives the toes and feet so much more presence and uh, gnarly digging that. Cool. So feet are done. We had a lot of fun. And so, you know what? While we're here, let's install the waist pit because this is pretty easy. On those spaces, we're just going to push this in. And it's a decent enough hold. It's not going to fall off or anything, but um, I would have been okay if it was a tad bit tighter. But uh, that looks cool, man. It, it it carries a gold and like this kind of, um, not turquoise, I don't know what color this is, some type of gunmetal blue or something. It carries that motif down, and I think it's well done. Even though it's, it's not exactly the same color. Like, you can see the one on the left has a little bit more shine to it, but uh, whatever, dude. Okay. Let's install the arm. You know what? I'm not, I'm not going to cut away. Why don't we just uh, install the arms while we're over here, my dear. We'll bring the arm down. And what, what this is going to do is, um, you know what? That might be the wrong one. It's just going to wedge right there. There we go. There we go. And you can see that there's just a little bit of extra oomph to it. Not too much, but at the same time, just enough to give it better presence. And the same one, better presence like Christmas. Ha <laughs> ha. And then we get that in there. And dude, that looks nice, man. That looks nice. So that's him before we installed the wing upgrades and stuff. And um, I'm not sure if these are two separate kits. They might be. They might be. The wings might be something altogether separate. But even if you didn't get the wings just like this, dude, homie is dope, dude. That's tight, dude. That's a really, really nice look. Um, and I'm I'm enjoying that. And the wings are really easy to install as well. So in the event that you like, I don't know, don't like the look, then you can kind of remove them. But yeah, that's home. That's homie right there. Let's get him in a better shot. Mm, that's nice, dude. That's so nice. Okay, I'm going to cut away really quick and get the wings ready, and I will be right back, Jack. Okay, cool. Now we're back. We're going to grab this wing, and uh, it's just going to install there, and it's just going to plug in perfectly. And uh, like I said, you can see that the color is not a perfect match, but um, I don't know, man. I guess it just it doesn't bother me that much. I know some people are very, very particular about it, and that's totally fine if you are, but um, I'm not. And this one, it'll just line up, and you can snap it in there. It connects by 5 milli, and I'm guessing that DNA at some point is going to come out with their own version of this set because, you know, everybody was talking about the wings, about wanting a little bit of extra oomph, and, uh, you know, DNA jumps on that stuff. But typically, these third-party guys, not third-party, rather, I mean, like homebrew, um, like 3D printer dudes at home, they'll like get these out and they'll rush to market and they'll capture a certain bit of market share while some of the folks wait for DNA to kind of put out their version. Um, and that's to totally fine. The homebrew stuff typically is a little bit cheaper. Um, you can argue that it's a little rougher around the edges and I think that's a valid argument. And uh, let me just position these properly. And like I said, it's going to be much tighter once I install the screws. And I intend to do so later on. But um, I'm on my lunch break right now. And I just want to make good use of this time. And we don't really need the screws to uh, demonstrate what this kit is going to look like. So let me just get the wings all up on there, Jer. Okay, so those are the wings. Let me fold these up. And uh, let's take a look at our guy from the front okay what do we think class is it a pass is it a yay or a nay what do you guys think i'm okay with it i'm also okay without it to be completely honest and when i do look at it look at it right now i do wish they were better matched i didn't care about the back parts back parts as much but i do wish they were a little bit better matched but i don't know maybe the actual nova the wings the wingtips, the feathers are darker than the actual um, 
the whatever the, the wings themselves and so maybe they did that very intentionally to homage the act homage the actual figure or um i don't know really have no clue but all i can say is that i am extremely pleased with this set and if we wanted to adorn him 100 percent then sure we can give him the the side blasters which i think are a really nice color separate from the black that we get from the ultra magni is that a word magni plural <laughs> and then we have the the little blaster that comes with galaxy prime as well and we equip that dude i think he looks phenomenal man i like this character already but with this or this toy rather because i don't really know the character of nova prime i like the toy already but with the add-on set boy I, I just think it takes it to the next level it really really does i love what they did to the feet those are my favorite parts the feet and the 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 feet, the forearms, and the waist, those are all really nice. I think I could live without the wings. I think I'd be okay with that, yeah? And so if these are two separate kits, and I'm sorry for not having that information um, ahead of time, if they are two separate kits and you're kind of short on change, I would invest in the first one. I think the wings are a bit of an afterthought. Even though they're nice, um, the body, the, 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 the torso bits and the arms, and um, that, that really, really shines and does it for me. And I am, uh, yeah, totally on board for this kit. A plus from my side, yeah? And so uh, if you'd like to pick this up, support my sponsor, TF Safari. Use that code that you see in the right-hand corner, BotBender 3% off, and save yourself a little bit of change. And um, yeah, support them, support me, I support you, and we'll all have a good time, okay? Have a lovely day, my friends. Bye-bye.